Hi, I'm Erica Gamma with InDesign Secrets. In this video, I'm going to separate an InDesign document into sections. You might want to use sections to indicate different chapters in a book or different topics like you might find in a catalog. First, we'll need to indicate where each of the sections are, and then we'll have InDesign automatically label those sections throughout the document. Anytime you want to create a separation of pages, whether you're going to number each section individually or you just need a different header on each, you need to define where the section starts. In this document, I don't have any sections that I've defined, but I would like to split it into sections. For instance, I would like one called Built by Fire, and I'd also like to have that title run in the footer of all of its pages. By default, every document has one section and it starts on the first page. If we look at page one here, and I roll over this little triangle, it says start of one. That's the beginning of section one. If I double click on that triangle, it highlights all the pages in that section and it also opens up the Numbering and Section Options dialog box. You can also get to that dialog box from the Pages panel menu up here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to assign a label or a marker to this particular section. So I'm going to come down to the section here that says Section Marker, and I'm just going to put Intro. I also am going to keep the automatic page numbering, and I'm going to do that throughout the sections. You might choose to have different page numbering for each of your sections. Now I need to tell it where the next section starts, because right now everything is part of section one. I'm going to come to page four, and I'm going to give it a name, and also I've set up my master pages so that I have the chapter name here. Now I have that text sitting there so I could stylize it, but we're going to add an automatic marker in just a minute, and it will automatically add the section name. All right, so let's finish setting up our sections. This one's built by fire. So I need to be on page four where I want it to start. So I double click to make sure I'm on it. Go up to the pages panel menu, choose numbering and section options. Again, I'll keep the automatic page numbering on and I just need to give the section marker a name and I'm going to call it build by fire. I'll say, okay. The next section starts here on page 13, rushing water. I'm going to do the same thing, pages panel, numbering and section options, and I'll name that rushing water. I'll say okay to that. Now nothing has changed because I haven't indicated on the master page what needs to change. So let's head to the master pages. I have master page B and C that I'm using with all of my text throughout the book. The other ones have pictures on them. But I also have master page A and I can see that master page B and C are both based on A. This is called cascading master pages and if you're not familiar with them you might want to get up to speed on those as well. But in this case I'm going to go to master page A and again, look at where I have this type set up where it says chapter name here. Now I wrote that so that I could stylize the text, but now I need to put the automatic marker. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all the text. And I'm gonna zoom out of that so I can actually work here. I'm gonna select that. I'm going to go up to the type menu, come down to insert special character, markers, section marker. And when I do that, I can see that it changes to say section. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna go up to the type menu insert special character, markers, section marker. Now on each of the master pages, it still says section. And that's because on a master page, that's all it's going to show you. But let's jump to our pages where we assigned the beginning of those sections. Page four, it now says built by fire. Let's scroll down to page 13 and it says rushing water. Now, if I need to make changes to the title of the chapter, I can just go back in and double click again on that section and change the name here. Also, if I decide to add pages, I can add those within the section and they'll automatically have that section marker for me. So let's come back up here to page four and let's add in two more pages after page four. So I'm gonna go up to the page, pages panel menu and say insert pages. Let's insert two pages after page four and let's use B master. So we'll say okay. So now I can see down here, let's zoom in a little bit here. I can see that it continues to put that in the footer, the built by fire. We don't have one there because it's a photo and we have one there. So just keep in mind when you add pages to that section, it will automatically be tagged with that section marker so long as it's using a master where you've had that section marker. You can also put a section marker directly on a document page itself. So that's how to split your document into different sections and how to create an automatic section marker so it does the labeling for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. For thousands more InDesign articles and tutorials, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week email. Thanks for learning with us.